Oberon is defeated. The power of the Realm Scourge is overwhelming. Even with two rings at his command, Oberon is forced to retreat. The Realm Scourge shows no signs of pursuing, and disappears once more, just as it did after the massacre in Wazette. Meanwhile, near the village of Goga, Alim, Livial, and Katong ready themselves for battle. Their goal? To bring down Goga. At the Crystal Sanctum, Sadali finally succeeds in resurrecting Exia. But, unable to accept the heartless ways Sadali employs to achieve his goals, Exia leaves the Sanctum without indication as to her destination. <laughs> well, well, what have we here? Where might you be off to at so late an hour? I do not recall being told I required your permission to go anywhere. Even if you do not count me as a friend, I at least assumed we were comrades. But worry not. I know what you are going through. What could you possibly know? Your sister, Princess Lucielle, is in the custody of the Sanctum. And you are none too happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> it seems I have hit the mark. In any case, I understand why you feel that way. So long as your older sister lives, you shall never take King Oberon's hand in marriage nor make Ovis your own. That is no concern of yours. Lord Sodali is a most compassionate man. If you pledge your loyalty to him, he will most certainly act charitably towards you. You need but simply refrain from acting on any ill-conceived ideas. You the one who needs a job done? Yes, I am. <laughs> it takes all sorts. So, are you sure about this? This is your own sister we're talking about having assassinated here. <laughs> the reason why the Sanctum keeps Luciel alive is as an ace up their sleeve against Oberon. Or so I've heard. Killing her would be rather treasonous in the eyes of your masters. All I want to know is whether you shall take the job or not. And if I refuse? Then I would have to ensure you don't leak this little plan to anyone else. Easy now, there's no need to get dramatic. Despite appearances, I'm somewhat of a coward, you know? <laughs> but, truth be told... The actions of the Sanctum, or should I say, Sodomy, haven't exactly been all that impressive. That's why I kept my neck out of that war they waged against Rundal and Heindler. 
So what did you do while that war was raging on? I watched it all play out, and drew my own conclusion. Sadali's time as head of the Sanctum is over. He lives only for the sake of some woman called Exia, who he kept from crossing to the Great Beyond. The funny thing is this Exia decided not to stick around, and now Sadali is a pathetic, empty shell of the man he once was. The only ones left that still pledge their allegiance to him are Whisper and the rest of his Divine Guard, his Sanctum Monks, and his misguided followers. Everyone with any skill to their name has left the Sanctum already. And what about you? Are you intent on leaving as well? Sooner or later, yeah. But it's a crying shame to let such a racket of that scale go to waste. What then? You plan to seize control of the Sanctum for yourself? The empty shell of a man that was once Sodily wouldn't be able to stop me. But the Sanctum still has the people of Ezog and all manner of mercenaries, do they not? What did I just tell you? Anyone who could make a difference when push comes to stab has long left the Sanctum by now. So all one needs is to prepare enough of a force to eliminate Whisper and the rest of the Divine Guard, then? Yeah, that's about the sum of it. <laughs> Who goes there? What's his problem? Coming in sword first before even waiting for an answer? Hmm. Huh. And now he's playing dead. Not a bad performance, but you picked the wrong girls to pull it on. Good if you can see through that little trick of mine. All right, how about we do this the conventional way then? Jeez. You don't change, do you? You're still the same old scoundrel you were back then. Back then? I thought your mug looked familiar. You used to work for Sodomy. I remember seeing you come and go at the Sanctum. The name's Sorrow, ain't it? Don't call me that. I have a more suitable name now, and it's Luertha. What is going on here? Was she originally a member of the Sanctum? She used to be one of Sodaly's Divine Guard. Used to be? So you are not any longer? Nope. I was sick and tired of Sodaly, so I fled the grips of his church. And that's when she met up with me, and ever since then we have been on the road together. And you don't have any ties to the Sanctum? None at all. I don't know about his eternal youth or whatever, but marrying a man only for him to live in good health forever sounds like hell to me. Marrying. It matters little whether it's the Sanctum or Kingdom. My methods are pretty much the same. Once their leader has fallen for me, I ensure they meet a quick and untimely fate. I am not interested in organizations or politics. All I care about is the Gil. Mm. Ah, I remember who you are now. You were in Wizette, weren't you? 
The plan was to lead Kuri astray and take Wazette from under his nose. But these things have a way of not working out. <laughs> what? Was that country too cold for you? That was part of it. But I just could not stand being around that vile old man any longer. In fact, I was just discussing with Luartha here about finding a better kingdom to make our own this time. Oh, is that so? Well, that's opportune timing, ain't it? What is exactly? I was planning on killing off Sadali and taking over the Sanctum. How about it? You want in? Assailing the Mighty Sanctum. <laughs> that is an interesting prospect indeed. So, looks like we've got ourselves some partners. Fine by me. All I need from you is to dispose of Luciel for me. If you grant this one wish of mine, I shall do whatever I can for you. All right then. Okay, I really need to ask, who is this woman again? I am Shalza. She's one of Ovis's princesses. One of? Well, to give you the lowdown. Quite the tale. Let me get this straight. Shalza, your only stake in this deal is us taking out Luciel for you. Yes. All I wish is to have Ovis for myself. And you promise not to turn around later and ask for a share of the spoils? I have no need for them, nor do I have any interest in the Sanctum. And it sounds like we have ourselves a deal. What a horrific sight. I was told the Realm Scourge passed by this village before it appeared in front of us. But to think it could cause so much destruction to this place just by passing close by the area. This cannot happen again. It must be stopped. King Munt. You shouldn't trouble yourself with a remote village such as ours. Do not speak like that. We shall help rebuild your village. It is the least we can do. You're too kind, Your Majesty. How did the rest of your people fare? Thank the gods, we escaped with but a few minor injuries. I am glad to hear that, though it is but small consolation. Your Majesty, this uh, realm scourge. You are going to slay that monstrous menace, yes? In the blink of an eye, the thing destroyed what took us decades to build. So long as that thing prowls the lands, it won't be just our village. Other settlements will meet similar fates. Yes, I understand. And I promise you, we shall see the monstrosity slain. You have our gratitude, Your Majesty. Shitzelt. I heard that you were visiting here, so I followed after you. We received word that an enormous monster had appeared, and I simply could not stand by idly. I am here with Queen Masheri's blessing, of course. And how is Masheri? Her Highness appears awfully tired. 
However, she puts on a brave face in front of us. Is that so? If you'll excuse us, we'll be on our way now, Your Majesty. But what a dreadful condition this place is in. Indeed. And this is but the result of the Realm Scourge having merely passed close by the area. <sighs> Once the Realm Scourge reawakens, tragedies like this will play out over and over again. Do we stand a chance of beating it? In all honesty, I know not. Even Oberon, with two rings at his command, met with a crushing defeat. I heard the beast is covered in an impenetrable armor. It appears so, I'm afraid. But I believe there might just be a way. If we can unite the powers of everyone across the whole of Ardra, then surely we will stand a chance. But... Will merely throwing more and more soldiers at it really solve anything? It will not. Then what should we do? I still believe unifying each and every nation is essential. If we share information on the Realm Scourge and assist each other when needed, then that would reduce the damage we all suffer, at the very least. Hopefully that will buy us time to find a way to penetrate the Realm Scourge's armor. Does this unification of each and every nation include the likes of the Sanctum? The power of Sodaly and his followers should not be made light of. If at all possible, I would like their aid in this. Then allow me to try and convince them. Shitzelt. You wish to do this? You do not think I am capable, Your Majesty? No, not at all. Mind if I tag along? Lilith. That shouldn't be a problem, right, Your Majesty? It is just... I fear Sodaly shall be quite hard to persuade. Don't worry. I'm fully aware of that. I'm not expecting to be able to just drag him along kicking and screaming. That said... What if we try members other than Sodaly? That's what I was thinking. If we can get others from the Sanctum to join our discussions on how to defeat the Realm Scourge, then... That would be a step in the right direction, indeed. But can you do it? Sadalib still has many believers who revere him. Maybe we can open discussions with them on lending us a hand in order to save those believers. Hmm. That might just work. <laughs> Not bad, if I say so myself. Then if we can just convince Oberon and Jaden's people as well. Then let's waste no more time and head to the Sanctum. Ready when you are. Just make sure to take the utmost of care. Oh, you know me.
So this too is the realm Scourge is doing. Where are you going, sister? The Realm Scourge crossed the Great River to the west of Wazet and entered Fennis. Then it came to Ovis by way of land. Sister, what does that have to do with anything? If one assumes that, having been enticed by the smell of bloodshed, the Realm Scourge traveled from Ovis to Fennis, then... Oh, I see now! is way off that course. Exactly. The Realm Scourge came through these parts after its confrontation with Oberon. It likely passed by this settlement in search of a place to rest. Indeed. Wait, you don't mean the Realm Scourge could be nearby? That is a possibility. Considering this is Horn territory, there is no guarantee the Realm Scourge will not attack Horn Castle the next time it awakens. Oh no! In case that happens, we need to ensure preparations for Machiri and her people to take refuge elsewhere are ready. Yes, that goes without saying. I wish to minimize the potential damage to Horn. So please, Lend me a hand to accomplish this. Of course. We are prepared to support you in any way we must. Thank you. Let us first perform a quick search of this village and see if anyone needs our aid. Then, we shall make haste to Horn Castle. I sense monsters approaching. Lord by the smell of blood, most likely. Let us meet them head on. Ah, oh, what's the matter? Tuckered out already? What exactly are you up to here? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with us. We can see through your lies. This road doesn't lead to the Dynver Cathedral, does it? What are you trying to lead us into? <laughs> Don't go getting the wrong idea. I may be a rotten scoundrel. But I'd never stoop as low as pulling an ambush on my newfound companions. But playing dead is fine though, huh? Uh, that was, uh, uh, just for laughs. I've heard that one before. So, where exactly are you taking the two of us? It better be somewhere worth our while, or we won't be forgiven. <laughs> Just follow me and see. Zazan. And here we were thinking you might be lost travelers begging to be robbed blind. Thanks for ruining our day, huh? These two are with me. Victora and Luartha. Yeah, we know them already. These were the ones who tried to dupe Kuri into handing Wazette over to him. Huh? 
Dupe is such an uncultured word. All we wanted to do was give an old king something sweet to dream of. Exactly. So, what do you want with us? <laughs> do I have a tale for you? You're gonna try and take the Sanctum. You lot have lost your minds, huh? Maybe we have. What of it? <sighs> What's wrong? Scared of the prospect already, are you? You probably got no idea what's going on, so let me explain. That wretch Sadali can use the power of the crystals to turn his followers into puppets. You don't stay. And the people of this village here, where we now reside, are no exception. That kid Nador the two of you fawn over lives in this village, don't he? Nador is our greatest treasure! Don't you dare go near him, huh? I'm guessing that kid is being used as a hostage to keep you two in line, then. That's why our hands are tied. It's not just Nador, either. All the villagers here looked after Nador for so long. We can knock him out if they're forced to attack us, but we just can't bring ourselves to kill him, huh? Hmm. So you two plan to go on living your whole life in the fear of what Sadali may or may not do to you? Watch your mouth! You could never understand what we're going through, huh? Well, I'm never one to back down from a fight. Perhaps we can beat some sense into you two. Uh, are we really doing this? All right, you've had your fun. Uh, you two know what you're doing. You're not the pickings we thought you'd be, huh? And now we know why Sazan wants you to join our band of miscreants. Yeah, that's for sure. The Sanctum is wounded and weak. Some giant monster called the Realm Scourge has appeared, and most of their muscle is up and left. Storming the front door would just put us up against all those warrior monks. But that's where you gents come into things. So before anyone gets wind of your plot to assassinate Sadali... You want help gaining access into the cathedral without raising suspicion, huh? That's about the sum of it. No matter how strong Sodaly may be, as long as we take out his divine guard. He won't stand a chance against all of us at once. So, what do you say? Well, as you say, we can't live under the Sanctum's boot forever. This might be a golden opportunity to find our way out. Ah. Then come on! Join us. All right, let's do it. Count us in, huh? What's 
What's the matter, Tai Tai? It was faint, but I sensed something. I just can't shake the feeling we are being followed. You're just overthinking things. But how can you be sure? What if we are being tracked by the arms dealer's guild? Well, if that was the case, why don't they come out and attack us here and now? We're in the middle of nowhere, no one around to come to our aid. Isn't this the perfect spot for an ambush? I guess you do have a point. Hold on. Somebody is coming. Tai-Tai? Don't worry, Chell. I'm right here. They appear to be warrior monks. Monks? Maybe they're on a pilgrimage? You mean pilgrimage, right? That could be possible, I guess. So what should we do? My apologies for making a selfish request. But I would prefer to avoid any fighting, if at all possible. Agreed. I believe we can all agree on that. In which case? Do we let the monks pass us, or continue traveling on ahead of them? Maybe it'd be better to allow them to pass us. I don't think we'll be able to relax if we feel like we're being constantly tailed. Titus, what about you? I think we should keep on moving as we are. The reason being? No reason in particular. I just have this feeling that pushing on would be the better choice. Besides, Likaros Castle is already in view. I'd prefer to take refuge inside the castle as fast as possible, and have a proper rest there. Everyone seems tired enough already. <sighs> the monks are gaining on us as we speak. We should be swift with our decision. I believe we are too late. Let us clear the road and let them go through. They're here. Huh? Nothing to see here. Keep moving on ahead. May the light of the crystals guide us. What? Tai Tai? Get back, Chell! Venera! We are here to take custody of Venera and the child, Daria. If you are not prepared to hand them over peacefully, Then you shall die. Damn it! These cursed monks just keep coming and coming. So you're the thieves who made off with Venera and Daria then. Tyrell, is he trouble? Yeah, he's the source of all our problems. So, all we need to do is defeat him and... <laughs> you young ones love to dream big, don't you? Backup will be arriving here shortly. Not that I expect you will survive that long. Reinforcements will be problematic. He could just be bluffing. But what if he isn't? Then that would be bad. 
What's the matter? Discussing your getaway? Running won't help you, though. All right, men. Aim for that little girl there. You wouldn't! See what I mean? You turned pale as a corpse at the mere sound of those words. You'll have a lot to regret if you think I won't use that against you. <laughs> Let's go to the castle. You mean Likoro's castle? Yep. Hmm, that may be our best option. We'll keep them busy. Venera, Chell. As soon as you see a chance, make a break for the castle. Okie dokie. Thank you, but be careful. The old make a break for the castle routine. I won't let you get away with that. You put up a better fight than I expected. But this is the end of the line for you. <sighs> I'm sorry I couldn't protect you two better. I wouldn't say that. You did well, t -Rail. Thank you. Your efforts allowed Venera and Kel to escape. That's... Venera too? Why? What did you come back here for? We've got bad news! The forces of Rundal are in Likoros castle. Of all the places, why would Rundal be there? Rundal, you say? The Arms Dealers Guild does not deserve to exist, now that you have sold your souls to the Sanctum. Who would have thought that Rundal would choose Likoro's castle, of all places to hide, after what happened with Oberon? <laughs> A golden opportunity. We'll put an end to you here and now. You shall die, ruing that you ever made light of Calorum. Brother? A battle is being waged. A report, my lord! A skirmish has broken out near the old Likaros castle. What? Is Lady Venera amongst them? Lady Venera's party is being pincered between a group of sanctum monks led by Garvel and a squad of Rundal's forces. Soldiers, charge and hit them hard. We must save Lady Venera! What happened to that previous vigor of yours? Damn you! Hm. It appears he is quite the escape artist.
You witnessed what became of those monks, yet you still intend to put up a fight? I shall fight to the very end! Don't think I won't go that far to protect Chell! From which kingdoms do you hail? Huh? I am asking your allegiances. I... I am from the remote borderlands. So I don't count any nation as my own. Yet the same cannot be said of you, and the boy there behind you. Hmm. Judging from your attire, I would assume you are from Fennis. Why are the remnants of Fennis in these parts? We merely travel to escape the ravages of war. We harbor no ulterior motives. Forces from Horn approach. Horn? I believe it may be Nitor. Nitor, you say? Hm. This should be interesting. Formations, prepare to engage! Yes, my lady. That is Rundal's Calorum, I believe. Calorum? Isn't that the division led by Lucia? I guess we won't be left wanting for a better opponent. Hold troops! Move in! Annihilate Rundal's forces and safely secure Lady Venera! You appear to have improved. You noticed? That's the power of love, you know? Isn't that right, brother? I strongly doubt it. Aw, hey! Lucia, I demand you withdraw. Now why would I do that? We have no reason to fight. You know this to be true. <clears throat> ah, I see now. Your objective here is that group with the baby in tow. Enlighten me. To what ends do you want them for? <clears throat> Calorum will not withdraw for no reason. It concerns Lady Venera. No, no brother, you mustn't! Lady Venera. Ah, so that's what this is about. I have heard what I needed to hear. Horn's crown prince Dario took Moraga's daughter as his princess. But the woman he married was not of Moraga's bloodline at all. In fact, she was one of the people of Iza. If you mean to insult Lady Venera... What does Horn intend to do with her and her newborn child? We have no obligation to answer that question. If you do not answer, then we shall take custody of both of them. You what? Then answer us. Why would the likes of Rundal champion Lady Venera in such a way? Would telling you ensure the safety of the lady and her child? I promise you that Horn has never once mistreated the people of Izog. I trust we can take you for your word. You. We shall place our faith in you, and in Horn. 
You may put your worries at ease. The safeguarding of Lady Venera and her child is by direct order of Queen Masheri. Then that is good enough for me. How are your injuries? Nothing more than scratches. I see. I ask that you trust me in this matter. As you wish. My apologies in any case. It is fine. It appears we owe you one. Hmm. Let us return to the castle. Got it. I can't believe I'm starting to see Rundall in a more positive light. You are not the only one. I was hoping to have caught the showdown between Calorum and Nitor. Yeah. But what about that ratbag Garvo? He really thought he could nab Venera's Brad and use it to take control of Horn. So what do we do? Should we go after Nitor? It's too early to make Horn our enemy. Which means? Our target is Rundal. Ah, I see now. After being brought to the brink of destruction by Hindler, I was wondering where their remaining number might be hiding. And of all places to choose, they go with our motherland. That castle belongs to us. So, what say we take it back? Mm. Lord Comrade? Jaden wasn't on the field. Maybe his wounds killed him. Maybe he's still on death's doorstep. Either way, the fact they struggled to stand their ground against Nitor means Rundal is yet to regroup their forces properly. Now's the perfect time to get revenge for the humiliation we suffered. Gather the rest of our forces. You got it, boss. <laughs> 